little disclaimer before we get started here. Anything that you see here, if you decide to do it, you are assuming your own risk and own, own responsibility for any injuries or death that may occur. Now, with that being said, a number of people have asked me how I converted my gas lawnmower to run on propane. Well, I got on the internet and YouTube, as this is going to be posted on, and saw a lot of people that did it, but there was never really an explanation of the parts that were involved, how easy it was, what exactly was happening, how to adjust it, all that kind of stuff. So first thing we're going to talk about today is the actual parts. I've got three different kits that I put together, all of which work, and at the end I'll show you one actually working. Um, it's relatively inexpensive. Each of the kits alone run anywhere between like 10 to 20 dollars depending on where I got the parts from and what parts I needed. But they're all slightly different, so let's first go over the parts. This is probably the most elaborate setup here. What you see here basically is a replacement regulator and fuel supply line for a gas grill that I got at Lowe's. This is the part that came, the regulator and the factory fitted fuel hose. This part right here is called a steak saver or a grill saver. This is an adapter that you can buy that will allow you to run a disposable propane bottle that you use at camp in place of a 20 pound, 10 pound, 5 pound, 100 pound propane tank. But you, don't, you notice there's no adjustment for fuel. The regulator regulates pressure but not fuel flow. So I've got a number of things. The first one is this ball valve that I obtained from Lowe's. It's brass ball, ball valve with a barb on each end for a quarter inch fuel line. If you look, you'll see gray material on the threads. That is JB Weld epoxy to make sure there's no um, propane fuel leaks when using this ball valve. The other thing I obtained was, as an alternate, is this fuel line, quarter inch fuel line valve from a hobby store. Really, really simple, really, really small. And then from there I have quarter inch fuel line hose, which in this case I have threaded or, or you can get with just barb connectors and use um, worm gear clamps to secure. Slightly cheaper version is this adapter here, which also you can get online. Um, the, the previous one that I just showed you, you can get at most hardware stores online. This right here is an adapter I got online um, and basically just look for disposable propane bottle adapter and I have that connected to a coupler connected to another quarter inch ball valve with a barb end with regular poly hose that's 5 16th poly hose um, for the fuel line. Now the one thing you notice is that this one does not have the regulator like this one. In some instances that regulator may be necessary but in most cases a simple valve to regulate the flow of fuel will be enough. This is my current setup. This valve here was obtained from online also and this is from a company called Mr. Heater which you can get all the other fittings at as well and they provide different fittings for propane applications for heating purposes for like camp stoves that sort of thing. The valve is connected to a coupler, which in turn is connected to a barb connector. Again, all sealed with JB Weld epoxy. Barb is connected to quarter inch fuel line hose that I obtained from the local hardware store. And for simplification purposes, as you can see, the fuel line is running directly into the carburetor. There is a gas tank on here, but there is no gas inside, and I will show you in a minute. It is not even necessary for me to have a gas tank on here. This is the fuel, excuse me, the carburetor filter. The reason that I have it off is just for simplicity, but to adapt this, all you would have to do is drill a hole in the top where you would fit this grommet here, something you would get in an automotive store to, that you'd put through the firewall of a car, put that in there and the hole to seal it so that no dust, debris, and everything can be sucked into the engine. You want your propane and your fuel to be filtered as normal through your engine. Two, two other things I want to point out. This particular mower okay, has no throttle. 
it has an automatic throttle. So you say, well, what if I have a throttle on my lawnmower? Well, if you have a throttle on your lawnmower, you want to set your throttle to full open so you get maximum airflow to mix with your fuel. And basically what you're doing is you're replacing one fuel gasoline for another fuel propane. This here, automatic throttle, it automatically sets the correct mixture for you. The last thing I want to mention is the spark plug. I don't recommend a regular spark plug. Um, you need something that's a, little, that's a little bit hotter. It's not absolutely necessary, but it definitely helps with the starting and the combustion. I recommend the E3 Lawn and Garden Spark Plug with Diamond Fire Technology. It says it's quicker starts, more power, saves gas, lower fuel emissions because of the spark plug design. Um, talks about 12% increase in horsepower, 13% less um, gas usage, and 58% reduction in emissions. Well, the good thing about propane, the gas never goes bad. It doesn't foul your carburetor, doesn't foul your plugs. You don't have to winterize your engine in your carburetor. You rarely have to change your engine oil because there's not carbon getting cluttered up in there. It provides just as much power, starts a little bit better in my opinion because it's more in its vaporized form, and quite frankly, right now it's cheaper per pound to buy this bottle than a gallon of gasoline. So now I'm going to give you a demonstration of actually starting this mower. The first thing I want to tell you is that if you turn the gas on too high, you're going to flood it just like anything else, but you don't have to sit for hours and hours or minutes waiting for the gas to evaporate. It's already in vapor form. You want to start off low at idle speed, and then as you adjust your propane and your fuel, that will control the throttle of your lawnmower. So, let's give it a shot. I want to show you that there's no gas in here. I don't know if you can see down in there, but... I mean, really, there's nothing there some tiny remnants not enough to even run on okay matter of fact I'm gonna try to start it a couple times without the propane pull the propane line out prime the bulb nothing in it handle is down Safe handle. Nothing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this into the carburetor. There's no adjustments you have to make to the carburetor at all. Initially you're going to start off at the lowest setting for your fuel just till you hear the, the propane start to flow. When the engine cranks you want it to be at idle speed. Slight flow of fuel, let's give it a shot. See how easy that was? Barely open. Running at idle. Now I'm going to crank up the fuel just a little bit so you can see. If you turn the propane too high, the engine will start to bog down. It won't flood out, but it'll bog down. You want it at a good kind of medium, medium to high level, and it'll run smooth as, as a kit.
we go. It's running in the background. All you have to do is make a bracket to hold the propane on to the lawnmower and you're good to go. I can cut my whole yard on that one bottle, which is about a tenth of an acre on that one bottle, about two or three times. Runs great, works perfect. Again, if you try, try this, you're assuming your own risk. This is just for information purposes only. Y'all have a good one. Hey, just want to do a little bit of an update from the last video where I told you that the um, filter housing to the carburetor could be modified to run the propane hose. As you will see, there's the rubber grommet that I mounted into the um, housing for the air filter. Um, there's no gas in here at all. It is dry as a bone. And we're going to crank it up and it works. It works good. Um, next thing for me to do is going to be to mount the uh, propane tank actually on the handle somehow, probably with some large worm gear clamps or a metal bracket. But uh, we're going to pull the safety handle down, crank it up. Also notice that this setting here is wide open for a you know, good, uh, good mixture, fuel to air mixture. Tie this down just for ease. Propane tank is on just so you hear some flow. Clean sounds great, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to do it. Real easy.